Good afternoon. We are on Sunday, the 26th of September 2021. I'll explain later why I haven't been recording. I can't multitask. I had no light in the bathroom since last week. I still don't have a light and my hair needed doing and I can't. Well, who's going to risk their life washing their hair and conditioning it in the dark? So yesterday, my neighbour let me use hers. But I had to do it a different way because she knows I make a mess. <laughs> I had to put on a conditioner from LV do. You put it on dry hair. I combed it all through. That took one hour. And then you wash it off. Whereas normally, I wash it twice in mine and then comb a conditioner through. And that also takes a long while and it makes a mess. <laughs> so... That's the only reason I'm recording today, because my neighbour, uh, the light hasn't been fixed. The management have goes at us, she does, when we complain. <laughs> and she said that 48 hours is, yeah, but I tried to record, uh, re report it and it, she wasn't here. She was away at meetings and it took emails and phone calls and phone called her boss, which she didn't like. And it's still not done. So I have to wait till half past four on Monday and hope the electrician comes, because he, he comes to us after he's done the other jobs. But we're old. Can't get up on, on, on stools and chairs and ladders to fix lights. Especially the bathroom one needs an electrician. It's different from the others. It's not a bulb, it's a great big round seal cap. So we have to put up with a lot of rubbish because we're old. We're not important. Well, we are to God. So anyway, I'm going to read the, and say and pray the prayers, healing prayers for every day. But I'll begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. O oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins, because they offend you who are so good, and with your help I will not sin again. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen. Today, the 26th of September, happy birthday in Australia. Deborah, I hope you're having a wonderful birthday, but I know it finished when ours began, so God bless you. You'll hear this later when you, I'm not sure if it's night time there or daytime. I know you're 24 hours ahead of us. So th these prayers will be for you on your birthday. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us exult and rejoice in it. That's taken from Psalm 118 verse 24. The reflection. There are 1440 minutes in each day. That's not enough, is it? and 168 hours in each week and that's not enough either which are a gift from our Heavenly Father to work out our salvation are we thankful for this precious gift of time well yes I am but it's never enough prayer Heavenly Father please touch my heart and heal it make it a heart of gratitude especially for the blessing of today. Come Holy Spirit and teach me to be a person of praise and thanksgiving. I don't know if it's because I'm old, but there is never enough time. This has been my problem while I, w I was unable to record because I can't get my head round multitasking and doing so many things all at once. I have to be organised. If I'm not organised, I, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. And I took on a big task 
this book. That is the reason why you haven't heard from me because my friend uh, from church has made that book possible. It's a biography of this couple from Newbury when they retired from being artists at the West End. They looked after wildlife and they opened a hospital in Newbury in the 60s, 64 onwards, where they were doing things from the 50s, but the hospital they set up when they retired. And it's a wonderful story. Obviously, the partner um, of the couple, he must have made notes and my friend used those to write their biography. And uh, it's a beautiful story. And she sent me the script to use it because I found it difficult. The five chapters that I did reading from the book itself because I have cataracts and I need to know what I'm reading in advance. Not reading the story but just to glance. And with a book it's not like these ones are okay. They're very small, healing prayers for every day, meditations with the Holy Spirit and St. Augustine. They're only a few words. But if you're reading something long and you want to get the meaning across, you need, I need 26 font. So I have been changing it from the 12 font, 29 chapters, to... 26 font and of course it it doesn't go quite the same on your computer screen there were a lot of issues and problems and I've printed it all off now ready to continue but I'm because of Deborah in Australia's birthday I'm going to do some live when I finish today the recordings for the scriptures and that would be her birthday present because she loves wildlife and animals. She's got lots of pets and things, and she'll 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 listen and watch. <laughs> so I don't know how many chapters I'll read, but I'll do them live, and then later on, um, I'll individually record them too at some point. But however many today, it'll be her birthday present because she just loves. She'll love this story, this book. It's gorgeous. It's really delightful, and it's. Um, very readable and very entertaining yes so I I couldn't do the, the things I normally do while I was doing that I couldn't cope I'm just too old to do all those things it's just too much for me and I've, I found it very exhausting what I was doing anyway so you know there's only so much to exhaustion and I'm signing up for swimming tomorrow my neighbour and I from upstairs, she and I, we're going to sign up to go swimming because we're fed up with being the size we are through no exercise <laughs> during COVID, but it's because we're both too lazy. <laughs> so we're going swimming tomorrow. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. I'm sending you God's peace and abundance and healing prayers. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And I'm terribly sorry for not recording for you for these past however many days it is. It's quite a number now. But I will try and catch up with the missed readings at some point every now and then. God bless you. Thank you.